Okay, I know it's Monday, and I know I've got mail, but this isn't really a mailbag Monday, because it's just one thing, and I already know what it is. It's something that I ordered from an individual guy, and it came from Russia, and it is a 3D pen. Now, yeah, okay, it's, it's made in China like all of them are. It's pretty much the same one that everybody in China is selling on eBay, but... This one, I think, is slightly used and was cheaper. So, and it's well packaged. Okay. The 3D pen. Ah, with Russian boxing and labeling and everything. Cool. And it's pink. <laughs> Okay, so this looks like it's one that uh, the guy who bought it from uh, got domestically in Russia rather than ordering it from overseas. So let's see what all's in here. The book's in Russian. Instructions are in Russian. Oh, this looks like an invoice. Hang on for a second. Uh, I don't know what that is. The serial number anyway in there so who came with the European plug to voltage adapter uh, it's like 12 volts 2 amps I think okay well I have two options for that uh, what is the input voltage 110 100 to 240 okay and there's the pen itself okay and it'll stand. Ooh. No filament. Okay, well, I'm going to have to order some filament, I guess. Well, that's slightly annoying. Um, looks like the tip comes off. Temperature adjustment. Feed. Okay. Well, that's disappointing that I can't play with it right out of the box. But, uh... Is that a piece of extruded filament that's stuck in there? I'm not sure. So there is one, two, three, four wires. So two outer ones. Let me just zoom in a little better and focus on that. Thank you. So the two outer ones, nice and heavy. Those will be the heater. The two inner ones will be a temperature sensor. Okay. Does that have an, uh, this way up, that way up? Uh, There's a notch. Doesn't seem to matter. I think it was that way up, though. Okay. Well, let's plug it in. So I could see if I can find another 12 volt adapter, but in anticipation of this thing, because I was fairly confident that it wouldn't have a North American plug, I found this at my local Goodwill for $2.50. It is AC input 120 volts, AC output 220 volts. Perfect. So let's plug him in. And grab a meter, a totally safe cheap meter, which is not, even though it's got a thousand volt or a 750 volt AC setting, um, everybody when I reviewed it said, those probes will kill you if you use high voltage, but ever. There you go, unloaded 232 volts output from that guy, so that's good. Um, plug that in and go to DC voltage. We're getting out of that 12.3, which is pretty much exactly what you would hope for. Uh, we'll plug that into there. Ooh, it lights up. Is it saying? PL8 
A. Oh, okay. POA or ABS. Okay, cool. Okay, and now it's showing the temperature as it warms up. Here it is at temperature, so now. Aha! Not sure what that does. I have to. Okay, so the tip is getting hot. Uh, okay. So this one backs the filament out, and this one feeds it forward, and you hear the motor, so that feeds it forward, and then when you left off, it backs the motor off a little bit. Cool. And you see down inside her, not really, so I'm not sure if there is actually any filament in it or not, and I'm going to have to... Okay, so you can adjust that too. Okay, I'm going to have to find an English manual for these things. And I'm going to have to order some filament. So I went away and did a little bit of looking up and I found not exactly the English manual for this, but some listings and stuff which uh, showed me what uh, what the various parts that I didn't understand are. This is a speed control for the speed of your filament feed. Um, and I also found a web page from a manufacturer. It's the same pen, just under a different, uh, different name, that had some maintenance instructions. So among the things to do, if there is a clog in the filament, is to pop this off. And there is the tube that the filament runs down. Um, oh, while we got her open, I should have done this before. There's the motor that feeds the filament. There's the little slide potentiometer for adjusting the speed. Tactile switches for that. Um, so that's a plug for the motor and a plug for power input okay so in the cleaning instructions it says pop the schnozzle off here squeeze and pull like I did before why can't I do it now there and apparently some sort of element just pulls straight out of a plug. Oh, would you look at that? There's the filament feeder thing. Okay, so is there something clogging in there? Seems that I can blow through it. What do I need to poke through there? Hang on. Okay, I got some old guitar string. That'll probably do it. Not the right size, try a smaller one. Hmm, will that go through the front? Yeah, it will, okay. Okay, it sort of goes in, but then it gets stopped. Yes, there is a bit of a clog in there. Oh, there's a longer straight section. goes in that deep. Okay, so there is a bit of a clog in there. I'll have to clean that out. How deep is that going back to there? There might actually be a bit of filament stuck in there. Oh no. That's going right back to the motor. So, okay, I guess I'm clear that way. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's no filament stuck in there. That's good. Um, the other thing I did when I was doing my searching is 
found that it takes standard 1.75 millimeter filament, which is good. Um, that's available everywhere. And since it is, I found a vendor in Canada who was selling an assortment of 10 um, pieces, a few meters, five meters long each, for uh, how much was it? For I think 10 bucks for the assortment pack. So I ordered one of those in ABS and another one in PLA. Okay, you can sort of see in through the hole there where the nozzle meets up with the, uh, the tube from the body. And uh, the nozzle has a kind of a flare on it. It sits into there, so let's do that. Okay. So that's seated in there. And put the tip back on. All right. So that's the only thing I have to worry about is I got to heat up the nozzle a little bit and clean that bit of schmoo out of there. Okay. Let's try that right now. Why not? Let that warm up. What's hotter, PLA or ABS? I'm not sure. Let's try ABS. Okay, while that was warming up, I took a look, and yeah, ABS is a little hotter than PLA, so that's good. I'll just use my guitar string here, and... Here we go. Done. Oh, wait. Snagged on something else in there. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. We got schmoo. There's something I can clean that off on. Oh, it's hardened already. Oh, that's interesting. I guess it's not really surprising. That's what it's supposed to do. But we'll scrape that off. Get a knife. And I'll ram her up there a couple more times. Well, that's uh, that's good. You're always a little suspicious when you're buying from an individual that hasn't sold very much stuff on on eBay. But so far, I haven't actually been burned buying stuff from individuals. I haven't done much lately. Mostly, I've been buying from Chinese companies. But so there's some of the old filament that was in there. Neato. Okay, well, thanks for watching for today. I'll uh, come back to this once that filament that I ordered uh, shows up, which, since I ordered it from a Canadian supplier, shouldn't take nearly as long as coming from China. At least I hope not. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.